Today we're going to be discussing the different resources available for wiring and programming your PowerFlex drives. We'll also discuss the resources available for migrating your legacy I.O. to current I.O. with the PowerFlex series of drives. Hi, I'm Alex Nolan with Royal Industrial Solutions, part of the Industrial Solutions Network. Today we're going to be talking about wiring and programming your control I.O. on the PowerFlex series of drives. To begin with, we're going to talk about the 520 series of drives. Each box comes with a short manual. In this manual, you'll find the control wire diagram. This will tell you what each terminal does in the drive. Additionally, Rockwell provides the installation and wiring diagram for the PowerFlex 520 series of drives. In here, you'll see wiring diagrams as well as parameters that need to be changed to accomplish different control schemes. With the PowerFlex 750 series of drives, our main resource is the PowerFlex 750 installation manual. This contains information on all of the different I.O. cards available for these drives and how the I.O. points work. On top of all of this other information that's available, Rockwell provides migration guides for legacy drives to the latest generation. This includes guides for the PowerFlex 40 to 520 series of drives, as well as PowerFlex 1336 to the 750 series of drives. In this, they'll do terminal point-to-point -point comparisons, as well as programming comparisons for the different drives, and provide great feedback for what you need to watch out for when you're migrating. All of these manuals can be found in links in the description below. Thank you.